On a dark night in Naples, Florida, two men were pulled over by the same police officer in the same area just months apart, never to be seen again. Terrence Williams and Felipe Santos vanished into thin air, leaving behind no trace of their whereabouts. What happened to these men and why hasn't anyone been held accountable for their disappearances? This is the story of their mysterious disappearances and the questions that remain unanswered. Terrence Dion Williams was a 27-year-old African-American man. He was born on January 17, 1976 in Chattanooga, Tennessee and was the father of four children. He worked as a tow truck driver and had a history of drug use and had been in and out of jail for various charges including drug possession and driving with a suspended license. Terrence was known for being outgoing and friendly, and he had a close-knit family who cared deeply about him. He was last seen on January 12, 2004. Felipe Santos was a 24-year-old Mexican national living illegally in the U.S. in Immokalee, Florida. He was born on January 1, 1979. Santos had a wife and three young children at the time of his disappearance. He had no criminal record and was not known to be involved in any illegal activity. Santos was described as a hard worker and a devoted father to his three children. He was known to be a quiet and reserved person, but had a good sense of humor and was well liked by those who knew him. He worked in construction and was last seen on October 14, 2003 at approximately 6.30 a.m. Both men disappeared after being stopped by the same police officer, Collier County Sheriff's Deputy Stephen Calkins, in Naples, Florida, and their cases are still unsolved. On January 12, 2004, Terrence was driving his Cadillac to attend a party that evening at a co-worker's house when he was pulled over by Officer Calkins. Officer Calkins claimed that he arrested Terrence for driving with a suspended license and then dropped him off at a Circle K gas station. However, Terrence was never seen or heard from again. His car was later found in the impound lot of the Collier County Sheriff's Office. There was no sign of Terrence. However, when Terrence's family tried to find out what had happened to him, they were told that there was no record of his arrest. This led to an intense investigation into Calkins' behavior, which revealed that he had a history of making false arrests and had been fired from his job as a police officer in a neighboring county. Despite this, Calkins was never charged in connection with Terrence's disappearance. The investigation into Terrence Williams' disappearance was slow with controversy. It took two weeks for his family to be notified of his disappearance, and Calkins' story about what happened that night kept changing. Despite the discrepancies in his story, Calkins was not arrested or charged with any wrongdoing. As the investigation continued, another man, Felipe Santos, was found to have disappeared in a similar fashion after being pulled over by Calkins in the same area just months before Williams' disappearance. Like Williams, Santos was also last seen in the back of Calkins' patrol car and was never seen again. On October 14, 2003, Felipe Santos was driving to work with his two brothers when he was involved in a minor car accident in Naples, Florida. He was pulled over by Officer Calkins for reckless driving. Officer Calkins claimed that he arrested Felipe for driving without a license and then dropped him off at a Circle K gas station, but Santos was never booked into the system. Felipe was never seen or heard from again. When Santos failed to return home, his family reported him missing. Calkins initially denied having any knowledge of Santos' whereabouts, but later claimed he dropped him off at a Circle K convenience store. However, no evidence has ever been found to corroborate Calkins' story. 
The Collier County Sheriff's Office launched an investigation into the disappearances of both men, but the case took a bizarre turn when it was revealed that Calkins had lied about dropping them off at the gas station. In fact, he had taken them both to a remote area and left them there, alone and vulnerable. Calkins was fired from the sheriff's office and charged with two counts of official misconduct for lying about the men's whereabouts. He was also a person of interest in their disappearances, but despite extensive searches and investigations, no trace of either Williams or Santos has ever been found. The cases of Terrence Williams and Felipe Santos remain unsolved to this day. Their families continue to search for answers and justice, but it seems that they may never get the closure they deserve. The question remains, what really happened to these two men, and why hasn't anyone been held accountable for their disappearances? The families of both men continue to fight for answers and justice. If you have any information about the disappearance of Terrence Williams and Felipe Santos, please contact the Collier County Sheriff's Office.